Hi guys, so the first dress I'm going to be reviewing is the one I have on now and it is by Dresses Pro and if I tend to look down here a lot it's because I've written down everything that I do and don't like about this dress um, so I don't forget. So the first thing um, about this dress is that it is a brown one shoulder dress and it comes to just above my knee which I'm not tall enough to show you guys. Across here it's just got like little crystals Right, so this dress is fully lined, it has boning and it has bra cups built in because it's one shoulder so as you can see you might not want to wear a bra under it because you can see the straps or you can wear a strapless one but it has got like the cups built in and it's got a very nice construction like it's very sturdy and it fits like a glove. Once I sent in they got it exact and it's very snug fitting it may not look it but underneath the um, clear material that it has here has a brown other material and like look it is so tight it's like a second skin like it's just very ooh. So, so I like the color of it I like the style of it um, there are a lot of things about this dress, however, that I do not like. The first thing I don't like about this dress is that the pleating is not consistent. And by me, when I say pleating, I mean like, I'll zoom up and see how it's got like little pleats going down, down, down. After a certain point, it kind of gets really bad. Like, so there, you, there you go, you can see it there. You can see where the pleating goes funny and it goes a bit here as well and up here. And it's like, it kind of looks a bit weird because of that so another thing I don't like about this dress is that when you have the zip usually they have like a um hook thing that you can hook up so that's where the zip I know it's not much but it kind of just because of that it leaves the top open a little bit and it just sits a bit weird there because of it it has um, one of those little ribbon things that you hook a dress up on, but it's on this side. So when I hang it up, it's this these two hanging up, and this side kind of goes down. So that's what I don't get. Why they put the ribbon on this side and not this side, so you can hang it up normally. Um, I can't actually show you guys the um, ribbon thing now because it's tucked in and it's very, very good tight, like I said before, so I can't really grab it. But it's on this side and not this side, which kind of annoys me. Um, another thing about this dress is that because it's got this, like, over material here, um, so this is the side without the zip, but it kind of is sewn into the dress, the over material, so it sits really funny there, like, if you can see that, because it goes out, right? But then if you turn to the side, it's just, like, going straight in like I'm not sure if it can see but like there like you can see it goes straight in there because it's sewn to the material and I don't know why they've done that. The biggest things that I didn't like about this dress is the shoulder strap is positioned wrong and it sits funny and because of that it gapes at one side which is not good at all so the strap it goes up like this but because of its positioning, like, it's a bit big as well, the strap. But because of its positioning right there, it has a lot of gaping right here. The shoulder strap should have been, like, it could have been, like, over here if they wanted to do that. But then that would have caused gaping as well. So I don't know what they were doing with this strap because it just sits all wrong. And it doesn't really matter how you position it, it's still going to sit wrong and it's still going to be gaping there. So that's the biggest thing I don't like about the dress is the strap. It just doesn't fit right here. Like, look how big that is. But it... Ugh. So it did take a little bit of time for this to get here from the site, but it was through the busy season, so I got to take that into account. So it wasn't too long, I guess. In this dress, it wasn't overly bad, but I was disappointed with the fact that this fits wrong. This sits funny. The pleating is very... Um, not really professional I guess because if you're going to pay that much money for a dress then you want it to be done right and you don't want to have to go in and redo stuff. Packaging of this dress was not very good though it kind of looked like they just put it in a plastic bag and sent it like it was just it wasn't the best packaging and they could have done a little bit better with the packaging. So this dress is valued at 82.42 pounds which is approximately um, $125 Australian. So if you are going to pay that much money um, I wouldn't recommend getting this at all because you're just going to have to go in and redo stuff and fix bits up and everything. This dress also came with a pair of shoes that they sent me which are 
these ones right here. These are the shoes here. Um, uh, they said they were going to send me the dark brown ones that match the dress. But colour can be very deceiving. And it's like an orange brown colour. And they're not very good quality at all. Like there's little... Can you see that? Like they're not very good quality at all. Like look, it has a little pointy bit of the tip of the toe and then this isn't very good quality at all either the completely wrong size they're about two to three sizes way too big for me so I do not recommend getting shoes from this site at all at approximately 46.6 pounds which is equivalent to around about $70 Australian and yeah, no, they're not worth it. Pay that much money for something, like I said before. Um, it's a little extra bits that make a dress go from ordinary to extraordinary. So I don't want to seem extra picky on all this stuff, but I'm, it's the small things that really do make the difference. So this dress is from RS2 Shopping and it's a gown and I sent them the exact same measurements as I sent for the brown dress and the brown dress fitted like the measurements were done around the body like really really well like they were to the exact measurements. I sent these this company the exact same measurements. Um, yeah, um, so basically this one doesn't fit at all. It's at least three sizes too big as you can probably see. And it just kind of hangs on me because it's so big and it's just not sized at all. Okay, so um, the first thing I want to talk about is the tacking at the front. Now, okay, this looks kind of weird because I'm zooming up there, but it's not, I promise. Okay, so um, there's kind of like, I'm not sure if the camera picks up, but there, see those little dots across there? Like, I don't think the camera's picking it up, but in person you can see them like from a mile away like it's very noticeable it's like tacking that's all across this area and this area kind of going in a circle and there was like nothing on the instructions about that when I got them there was like nothing written about how to get rid of them or anything like that like I'm not even sure why they're there so the next thing I want to talk about about this dress is the twist and there is a twist like oh my gosh this is so big it's moving and it's not meant to move also this one has built in bra cups as well so they're moving as well and it's not comfortable it has a split in the dress right here which you can see also look it's got like this like the other dress it's got a um kind of silky feeling um dress underneath it with the material over the top but these colours are completely different, like this material is light blue and this one's almost purple so they're completely different which changes the um, overall look of this dress as well but this, anyway, back to the twist, the twist goes and then there's like this piece of material that drapes um, it's draping on the wrong side, it should be draping towards the um, split because otherwise it looks funny. Like, don't even get me started about this split. It is cut horribly. As you can see here, it's kind of like just an arch cut out. It's not done properly and it's just tacky. And there's material, like there's threads everywhere that's hanging off it. This one also, it has a, an invisible zip right here. And um, like I can actually pull this one up to show you. But it doesn't have a hook and eye right here. It doesn't have one of those hooks. So that's kind of left open there. Um, it does, like, see the back, how it's got the, um, ribbon thing? Like, they're way too big. But, um, if you come along to this side here, it has the hook and eye. They're done really badly. Like, it's got the little hooks and stuff, and they're attached to little threads of material that they have there. But, um, they should have made it so that the material has the hooks underneath. Um, that part there so it just like continuously goes but because it's got there it's got a big gap here where you can see where it's kind of separated so also um, this dress looked great in the photo when I picked it out but um, on it looks horrible and it looks like I'm drowning in a sea of blue chiffon which is you know I wouldn't mind neckline is actually off center as well as you can probably see like this side looks different to this side like this it, I don't even know what's going on there like it pokes out like as you can see there it actually pokes out a bit obviously you wouldn't wear a black singlet under this but because I'm on YouTube and because this is very very not fitting and big and gaping in areas where it shouldn't gape 
for modesty reasons, I'm wearing a little singlet underneath it. But, um, um, a thing I do like about this dress is I did like the sparkles that did go around here. I thought they're very pretty. So this dress is valued at $150 US, which is $142 Australian price. So, like I said with the other dress, I would not recommend buying these dresses at all. I was so excited when I got the opportunity to try these dresses on and I was like jumping with joy and it took me ages to pick the dresses I wanted from the site because I was so excited and I wanted to go through all of them but I was absolutely disappointed when I tried them on. I was I was heartbroken because I was so excited and they just like they weren't what I expected they to be. I'm like out of breath, but I think I'm getting sick. Like, I'll, I'm, it's winter and look what I'm wearing, seriously. Um, I'm going to get sick, I can sense it. But um, I hope this review helped some of you. Sorry if it was a bit disturbing when I zoomed up to show you the um, front top area. But uh, I hope I didn't freak you guys out that much. And I'll see you guys in my next video.